Well, hello everyone, it's Rose. And today I'm going to be unboxing or unbagging two diamond paintings from Your Best Deals. Um, I am eager to see how these turn out because I thought both of them were beautiful in their own way. And, uh, and I hope you will too. Today, I'm also going to be showing you updates on project of the month for April. So after I open the two diamond paintings, I will be inserting a slideshow with the projects of the month, uh, the updates that I've gotten since my last update about a week and a half ago. And I'll also be including in that little slideshow the photos of the project of the month for May. Uh, so do feel free to check those out and if you haven't already ordered go ahead and order and um, yeah I'll talk more about that let's now take a look at what I got from your best deals all right then so what we have today are number 808 and number 813 and although there's only two of them I am excited about opening both of these because they're both, I think, beautiful images. Uh, the first one here is a super fun image. And when I saw it, it was like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. So I'm eager to try it out. And the other thing about both of these diamond paintings is that they're both cheap and cheerful. They're less than $10 each, US. Um, and Canadian for that matter. So let's take a look. So the first one, number 808, is uh, 30 by 60 is the advertised size. And it is this, this ostrich, which I just thought was the coolest thing. So let me open it up and I think I'm going to have to raise you. Yeah, I'm going to have to raise you up. So I'm going to flatten it out and I'm going to raise it up, uh, raise the camera up so that you can see better. And I'll be back in a second when I'm organized. Okay, so um, this is one in a series of diamond paintings of animals with stuff on their heads that are skinny and tall. And, and I just I like them all. But this one in particular, I just had to have it because I thought the necklace was just so ridiculous. I, I thought this would be so much fun. And I am very happy to see that it is in the new style. So uh, it, if you get another one in this series, it's going to be new style too, most likely. Um, as long as it comes from the same printer. And so I'm thinking if you get it from your best deals, it's going to come from the same uh, factory. So um, this has 23 colors. And let's take a close up look at the legend and the diamond painting itself. So um, it looks to me like it's a simple symbol set of just letters. Pippi's growling at the window because there's kids playing in the park outside. <laughs> she wants to get in on the fun. Um, her tail's just wagging like crazy. Anyway, um, okay, so yeah, it's a very simple symbol set. It has DMC numbers on the canvas and on the bags of drills. So that's good. I don't see anything here that I think is going to be difficult to read. Let's take a look at the canvas. And yeah, there's nothing here so far that's going to be hard to read. They did a nice job of putting black print on light colors and light print white print on dark colors so I mean I just love that necklace I just love that necklace <laughs> so funny and I like the detail in the background too that was one of the things it's like it's sitting against locked wallpaper or something like that and I just I really really like the look of that it's, it's such a whimsical image. It's 
super fun. And it's all really, really clear. And look at all the detail on the feathers of the ostrich. Oh my God. Yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, yeah, I like this. It's fun. Isn't it fun? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to put you back in the cradle and we're going to take a look at drills. And I'm going to measure. So let's measure first. Okay, so it is um, advertised as 30 by 60, as I said. Uh, let's see what the drill area is. So the drill area is almost 25 by 54. So that's a nice size diamond painting. Okay, so this comes with a standard kit, uh, nothing special, uh, but it's got everything that you need if you're just starting out, so you don't need to buy anything other than what's in the kit. You might want to invest in some Ziploc bags uh, little Ziploc bags that you buy at the art section of the dollar store if you want uh, to put your drills in um, something that will be easy to keep. Um, but you can just tape close these bags if that's, if that's what you want. Okay, so we've got 23 colors. And I have 23 colors here. So let's take a look at them and check to see the quality of the drills. And I might have a few ugly diamond paintings to show you today. Um, I definitely do have some updates on project of the month to show you. So let's go. And these are coming along nicely. Now, the Project of the Month updates, I'm going to put... Oh, wow, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of this background blue, 3750. Wow, tons of it. Um, wow. Okay. So we have, uh, what, five bags of it? Yeah, five bags of it. Whoa! But the drills all look really good. Yeah, so the project of the month updates, um, they're everything that I received up to today, which is Saturday the 24th of April. And then I'm going to do um, a summary of the month and all the finishes that I haven't received yet uh, in early May. So probably the first week of May, there will be um, another video and it'll just be a shorty video um, with nothing but project of the month updates in it and that's where everybody's work throughout the month will be put together in a single video uh, with some soothing music okay so um, so that is the drills for this kit that those were the drills for this kit and they all, oh, I'm not done yet. That was one strip of drills. Let me do the second strip of drills. Okay, so, um, okay, these are the more, some of the more interesting colors here um, that go into the, the, the fruit bowl flower bouquet on top of the, uh, the ostrich's head which I just adore. I think it looks so cute. Okay. All right, so these all look fine. Very good. Okay, um, so I'm going to put these away and I will be right back. Okay, and so this is number 808, ostrich 25 by 54 round drills. I like it. It's in the new style. It looks great. What is our number two? 
Okay, so our number two is, um, I thought it was just a beautiful, super, super colorful image. And, um, and I checked this a number of times to see if I could find an artist because uh, I know that there are similar diamond paintings on some stores that are licensed to those stores. And so I didn't want to be showing it if it was licensed to another store. I did not find it. Uh, I didn't find an artist for it and I didn't find it on another store's website. So I think this is a safe to use image, which is why you're seeing it. Uh, this is number 813 and I call it sea turtle. That might very well be what the website calls it. And I just thought it was a really, really beautiful image of a sea turtle. So um, it comes pretty flat already. And I'm just gonna take a second and flatten it out a little bit more and we'll be right back. Okay, so um, this is the sea turtle. And I just love the colors that we see in this. Now this is a new style diamond painting. It has 22 colors and of course it's round drills. Uh, it comes with a standard kit, just like the last uh, diamond painting kit that we opened. And um, wow, yeah, I really like this. It's really, really nice. Uh, so before we get into looking at it in detail, let's measure to see what the drill area is. So it's advertised as 40 by 30. And it is 35 by uh, 24 and a half. So 20, 35 by 25. Okay, so let's take a close up look at the legend. And so this is the same legend, essentially, that we saw on the previous diamond painting. It is just letters of the alphabet, and we have the DMC numbers printed on the canvas and on the bags of drills, which is good. And look at the beautiful, beautiful image on the canvas. Those symbols translate really well. This is good and easy to read. There is a lot going on in terms of the, uh, the color detail. So this is going to be like a very visually complex picture, which is possible because they are using the new style of printing these canvases with round drills and that uh, wow this is gonna this is gonna give this turtle so much definition this is what I was hoping for and I'm so so glad that I got it I mean I'm gonna pull back again look at all of the rich detail there it's just fantastic Yeah, I'm super happy with this. We get a little bit of color blocking, but so much rich detail. So the color blocking does not in any way detract from the detail of this underwater sea turtle. Everything is so clear. Really, really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, um, I am gonna get the drills ready and we're gonna look at those next. Okay, everybody, so I need 22 colors and I've got 22 colors. So let's take a look at them up close. And I will just remind you that if you want to send me requests to try something for you that you see in a store, you can send those requests to me at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. Uh, put Rose Tries in the subject line. 
and you can send me the link to the diamond painting and why you want me to try it. Now, I, um, I have to insist that you send me the link. Not just a picture, it has to actually be the link to the diamond painting. And I will check that link out, and if I like the diamond painting, and if I don't already have it, uh, I will order it. And um, so there you go. And I'll let you know if I'm going to order it or not. Now, I do not let you know before I publish the Rose Tries request. I mean, there were a few times when I did that, but now, like, I'm getting upwards of 40 emails a day that I, um, you know, I don't look at my email every day. So, you know, I sometimes have like 100, 150 emails to look at. And so uh, I am not going to try and keep all my emails in folders for need to send a response to this person and sent response and all that stuff. No. So um, you will get one email from me telling me telling you whether I'm going to uh, order your item or not. And um, and then after that, uh, you can just keep an eye out for it on my channel. So there we go. And I would just say if you are looking to see whether the diamond painting is going to look good, check to see if there's an image of the canvas. Uh, on the um, the listing for the item because now most of the companies do show pictures of what the canvas is going to look like. So you'll actually be able to tell exactly what your canvas will look like and whether it's going to be too pixelated or, uh, or not. Um, and I don't do requests just to see whether it's new style or not. Because I am of the very firm belief that a diamond painting doesn't have to be new style to be beautiful um, for round drills. Uh, I believe that a round drill diamond painting where the image is big enough, so where the canvas is big enough um, for the subject, that an old style round drill diamond painting, which is done in the pixel print method uh, will look good and I've opened a whole bunch of those just in the last few weeks and they've looked great uh, some of them some of them don't and um, you know that's what we learned but I don't open a diamond painting like I won't do a rose tries request only to tell whether it's new style or old style um, so there you go okay so this is number 813 it is sea turtle 35 by 25 round drills and uh, 22 colors and um, I would say it is a big win I really really like this okay so now I'm gonna insert in here a uh, slideshow of the updates to people's projects of the month that we've gotten and if I have any viewer finishes of your best deals items that I have checked and are not uh, copyright infringements, um, I will insert them here as well. Um, if you send me a finish and it turns out to be a copyright infringement, I will not be showing it on my channel. And again, I will not be telling you that I'm not gonna show it on my channel um, because that would just be way too much administrative work. So, um, so when you send me something, I hope that you're checking to make sure it's not a copyright infringement. Okay, uh, and I think that the viewer finishes section might be something that I get rid of uh, next month. So I think I'll only accept them this month. And then after that, I'm not going to do them anymore because I spend a lot of time checking to see if things are copyright infringements. And, um, and up until now, I've been emailing people and saying, I can't show your item because it's a copyright infringement. Anyway, that just adds all kinds of stress to my life. And diamond painting is supposed to be no stress. So, um, so I, I'm going to stop doing the viewer finishes um, going forward, unless it's for an item that I have shown on my channel. I will continue to do viewer finishes for items that I have opened. Um, so, because that way I know 
that it's safe. Okay, so let's take a look at the updates for Project of the Month. projects are coming along well. More and more people are finishing their projects, which is interesting. I finished my first one the first week. That was the small one. And I will be finishing the big one in the next few days. So I will be finished this month, which is exciting because I wasn't sure I was going to be able to finish everything I wanted to finish. All right, everybody. So here we go. Let's take a look at the two items from today. And for that, I'm going to raise you way up again so that we can see the entire image. So first up, we have number 813, which is Sea Turtle. It's 35 by 25, round drills, done in the new style. I think it looks fantastic. I love this image. Um, and then the other image that we opened today is the ostrich uh, number 808 and it is 25 by 54 and super whimsical also done in the new style it's got 23 colors and i think it looks fantastic i love it it's fun and um and i'm going to enjoy working on it so that is it for today everybody i would like to thank all of the viewers who sent in their Your Best Deals finishes. And I would like to thank all the viewers who sent me in their updates on their projects of the month for April. I did include at the end of that slideshow the projects of the month for May. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, so that you'll know what it is that we're going to be working on together in May. And uh, like previous projects of the month. If you don't buy those items, uh, you, can, you can still drill along for project of the month with items of a similar theme. So, um, so if you don't want to do the grumpy cat, you can do a different kind of cat. Um, and grumpy cat comes in uh, both special shape drills and round and square in all different sizes and you can find the links to Grumpy Cat and to Stitch down below. Now I have seen Stitch, I know I have seen the link in Special Shape Drills and that's what you see down below, 
but I've been told that it's also available in round drills from different companies. So if you want to work on Stitch, go ahead. If you want to work on Lilo instead, or Lilo instead, that's fine. If you want to work on an, another cartoon character, that's okay. For example, if you want to do a Pokemon instead of Stitch, then I, I'm fine with that. Um, just, uh, you're, if you're going to be sending me updates, you will need to include the links to where you bought those diamond paintings or else I will not be able to include your items in my updates on project of the month. Okay, and if you see anything in the project of the month that somebody has done uh, and you think, oh, that's really nice because there are some really beautiful alternate projects of the month that people were working on, down below in the description, there is a link to a spreadsheet that has um, links to all of those diamond paintings in it so that you'll be able to find any of the projects of the month that have ever been shown on my channel from any of my users. Okay, and um, there you go. So um, I wanna thank Bella from Your Best Deals for sending me these two gorgeous diamond paintings. I love them. And I also want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers and my patrons who support my channel. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now and then you can smash the bell so that you get notifications whenever I post a video. And finally, you know I love your comments, so do leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like this video. Thanks everybody, I love you, and bye bye for now.